density is 300 kilograms per, meters, per meter cubed. And it says the plate is oriented vertically with one corner at the top flush with the surface of the fluid. So again, the first thing to do here is to draw a picture and try to figure out what's going on. So let me draw a picture. Here's the top of the fluid, so the surface of the fluid. Um, the triangular plate is two meters on a side and it has one corner on the top there. So there's our plate. And again, we're going to use our formula for force due to hydrostatic pressure. Um, we can use the depth again to be y. So d of y equals y. For the width, we have to figure out what the width is at any particular value of y. So what we could do there is say, well, if the width is x, then we could use our formulas for triangles. What we know here is that x over 2, if we look at that 30, 60, 90 triangle, this is x over 2, and that's y. x over 2 times the square root of 3 is y, using what we remember about the relationships between sides in 30, 60 triangles. So the width is x equals 2y over the square root of 3. So the width, L of y, is equal to, if I rationalize that, I'll get 2 square root of 3y over 3. Remember, the w is the weight density, and that's the density of the fluid times the acceleration due to gravity. So that's 300 times 9.8, which comes out to be 2940. So our integral is 2940 times the integral as y goes from, okay, that's y equals 0, y equals 0. Now, this bottom part is Okay, again, we have to remember our formulas for triangles. So if that's 2 meters, then half of that is 1 meter. And so the total depth is 1 third. So that's y, or sorry, not 1 third, square root of 3. So that's y equals square root of 3. And so we get y equals square root of 3 here. And then the integral of L of y times d of y, so 2 root 3 y squared, that's multiplying those y's, over 3 dy. So if we combine all these constants, the 2 root 3 over 3 and the 2940, we get 1960 root 3 times the integral from 0 to root 3 of y squared dy. And so that's 1960 times the square root of 3 over 3 y cubed, because the integral of y squared is y cubed over 3. Evaluate that from y equals 0 to the square root of 3, and we get 1960 times 3 square roots of 3 times another square root of 3 over 3. And that just simplifies down to 1960 times 3, so 58, 80 newtons. So I did the integration at the end there a little bit quickly. The key part there is setting up this formula, finding expressions for d of y and l of y, plugging them into the formula, and then it just turns into an integration problem.